Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but, uh, it's just to show you that we are dealing with forces that we can't understand right now. 2004, um, the Nimitz Battle Group play, played, uh, footsie with a tic-tac-shaped UFO for two weeks. I said two weeks, not two hours. Two weeks. And this thing was able to move, up move anything we had. It was able to cloak itself, apparently, and it hovered above the sea for six days, according to the 2009 Pentagon report. 46 feet long, shaped like a tic tac, with no wings or nacelles, descended from 60,000 to 50 feet at ballistic missile speeds. And then hovered. So we'll show you the original report. Hang on. All right, I don't know where they got t two weeks from. Uh, this says 10 to 16 November 2004. Nimitz Carrier Strike Group was operating off the western coast of the U.S. in preparation for their deployment to the Arabian Sea. USS Princeton which is a guided missile cruiser, on several occasions detected multiple anomalous aerial vehicles operating in and around the vicinity of the CSG. The AAVs would descend very rapidly from approximately 60,000 feet down to approximately 50 feet in a matter of seconds. Ordinary spacecraft can't do that. Uh, did I say spacecraft? Um, or, ordinary craft can't do that. On 14 November, after again detecting the AEV, the USS Princeton took the opportunity of having a flight of two FA-18Fs returning from training mission to further investigate the AEV. The AV did take evasive actions upon intercept by the FA-18, demonstrating the advanced acceleration, aerodynamic, and propulsion capability. The AV did not take any offensive action against the CSG, however, given its ability to operate unchallenged in close vicinity to the CSG, it demonstrated the potential to conduct undetected Reconnaissance, leaving the CSG with a limited ability to detect, track, and or engage the AAV. Key assessments. The AAV was no known aircraft or air vehicle currently in the inventory of the United States or any foreign nation. The AAV exhibited advanced low observable, observable characteristics at multiple radar bands rendering U.S. Ba radar-based engagement capabilities ineffective. The AV exhibited advanced aerodynamic performance with no visible control surfaces and no visible means to generate lift, meaning it had anti-gravity. AV exhibited advanced propulsion capability by demonstrating the ability to main Stationary with little or no variation in altitude, transitioning to horizontal and or vertical velocities far greater than any known aerial vehicle with little to no visible si signature. And this goes on and on. This is too sophisticated. I don't believe this is a hoax. It doesn't appear to be. I don't know about the discrepancy. It's had two weeks from this, this thing... Uh, November 10 to 16, 2004. I haven't looked on a calendar. Maybe it started in one week and then ended in the next. But anyway, it's rather disturbing that these things can outfly us and maybe even cloak themselves. We're not alone, folks. <laughs>
There you go. I'm not gonna spend much time on this, uh, but just be aware. No matter of fact, some Mars. Thanks for watching.